So I run a paid newsletter. I actually run four paid newsletters. I run two subscription businesses and I create content almost every day of the week. And it becomes a big task to figure out when am I gonna create stuff? When is stuff shipping? When are all my sponsored posts going out? You know how people talk about content calendars and repurposing and things like that? I always thought that was bullshit because I, I've always just created content on a whim. I felt like doing something, I felt like saying something, and then I publish it. But now I run four paid newsletters, well, two subscriptions off of four newsletters, and I have two main sponsors, and I have so much content that I need to ship that I have to be organized about it. I can't just like ship whatever I feel like that day. And so I've had to get really smart with my tools and my systems, and particularly with my automations. And that brings me to the topic of today's video, which is about one of my favorite tools that I use every single day. It's called Sunsama. So like I said, I'm shipping content almost every day of the week. I have multiple newsletters, multiple subscriptions. I'm onboarding and offboarding members every single day. And I could never keep it all straight if it wasn't for Sunsama. Now I've tried all kinds of to-do lists, all kinds of productivity apps. I have never found one that suits me as well as Sunsama does. Like for some reason, it just works well with my my brain. Software is very personal. What works for me might not work for you, but I want to show you my system today of how I onboard and offboard members, keep all my content straight, keep all my sponsorships straight using Sunsama. I really like the design of Sunsama and I think that's what keeps me opening it every day. I have all their apps, the mobile app, the desktop app. Like for me as a former software designer, it has to be pretty or I'm not going to use it. But the linchpin that makes Sunsama work for me is the integrations. And I'm going to show you how I use it with Zapier and with Notion, which are two other tools that are critical for my business. If we haven't met before, I'm Lex Roman. I run paid newsletters, I run memberships, and I talk a lot about recurring revenue on this channel. I also talk about that in my my newsletter, Revenue Rule Breaker. So if you're running a paid newsletter business or you're thinking about doing a membership, you're in the right place. This is Sunsama. When you first log in in the morning, it has this screen that like tries to get you to prioritize your day. And also it'll estimate your tasks for you. And then you can adjust that and it'll tell you you're doing too much. But this is a feature that I actually don't use enough, but I think it's one of the coolest features of this app. Right size your day appropriately and you can estimate how much things are gonna take and then have Sunsama be like, this is too much. The view that I mostly look at is this view. I try to keep every day pretty small, like three to five tasks in here every day. You can just go in here and add a task like manually at any time. And you can like change the due date, add subtasks, all the things that you would expect to do with any kind of to-do list app or productivity app. You can also sync it with Google Calendar and they have integrations with all kinds of different things. So I have it connected to my Gmail. I also have it connected to my Notion. And then they have ClickUp, Linear, all these different kinds of apps that you can integrate with Sunsama. And you can pull in your tasks, right? So the way that tasks get into my Sunsama, there's three ways. One is that I just type them in. Two is that I import them from Notion. And three is that Zapier automatically adds them for me. So I mentioned that I run some paid subscriptions. And what happens is someone joins one of my subscriptions through a newsletter, and then they often get a bunch of bonus perks that I need to execute myself or check that they actually got fulfilled. So what I have Zapier do is send me a task. So you can see here, if I get a new member in my buy me a coffee, then it will create a task for me and it'll tell me to send a note to the new upgrade and it'll give me a couple subtasks. I need to add them to the list of legends and I need to send them a note. If I test this step right now, you'll see this go into Sunsama and create a task. There you go. Here's my new upgrade. And I know that I got a new upgrade and I know that I need to add them to these things and send the note. And so that's all in here for me. Same thing for cancellation. If someone cancels, I like to go in and check that they were canceled in Stripe and all the different things that they were added to. And so Sunsama is just like a backstop for my other Zapier automations, right? Obviously I'm automating a bunch of this stuff anyway, in terms of like upgrades and comps and perks and things like that. I'll do another video on that at some point. I don't know, I just like like the peace of mind that like I'm getting the task also to make sure that these things got done. And some of these things are just manually fulfilled, like adding them to the list of legends. This makes things really easy, right? Because all my new subscribers get added in here, all the canceled subscribers get added in here and I can just track them in my day, make sure that I execute these tasks. Or if I'm super busy, you know, maybe I get a lot of upgrades or cancellations, I might just bump them to another day. And to do that, you just drag them over. It could not be easier. So I track most of my content calendar in Notion. Notion is like source of truth for the content calendar. And then Sunsama is like what I'm doing today. And then usually some things that I have to do this week. But you'll notice that like it's pretty empty for the rest of the month. I don't, I don't put that much stuff in here. I try to keep it very slim, very focused to this day, next day, 
a couple things that are really key for this week. So the content calendar is here in Notion and you can just connect your Notion account if you use Notion too, or ClickUp or any of these other tools that Sansama integrates with and you can just import stuff. So over here I have my content calendar and everything in here is tagged with the channel that's going out on and if there's a sponsor, what sponsor is sponsoring that issue. And then I actually use this for reporting. So that's what the other stuff is for. But this loads into Sansama. So you can see here why I pay prompt three, which is coming up next week. And I can see that it's one of my next tasks in here. And then I can just drag it into Sansama. And it has this little Notion symbol so that I know that it came from Notion. And you can actually connect them back. So it will like mark a status as done. That's really helpful if you're working with a team. I'm generally not working with a team, so I don't bother with that. So this is super nice. I can just take this week's content and load it in here, and then I'm ready to write for the week, ready to publish all my stuff for the week. It's also linked to the Notion card, so I can see which channel and which partner are connected to the task, which is super helpful for me as a content creator, because I need to see if there's a sponsor attached or where exactly I'm shipping that thing. I run too many newsletters, you guys, so I have to have clarity on which audience is getting what message on what day. For tasks that don't go in the content calendar, like there's a couple things that I do every week that I, I just don't bother adding to the content calendar. One of them is the weekly newsletter for the Atlanta solopreneurs. I just, this is like not really part of my business. It's a side project that I do. So I just have this task every Wednesday to write this newsletter. I just whip it out or I schedule something that someone else wrote and it just repeats every week. So this is another great feature of Sansama. You can just repeat tasks. It's really easy to set that up when you create a task in here or import a task. You can just say repeat and then tell it how often you want it to repeat. I mentioned before that Sansama will estimate tasks for you. Sometimes it'll estimate them wrong. Like it doesn't take me two hours to send a note to one of my upgrades and you can just switch that. Okay. That actually takes about 10 minutes. And then you can see on the top here, they're estimating how long my work day is going to be. So this is a super useful tool. If you are someone like me and you used to overstack your to-do list, this is super helpful because then you can say, how much time is each task going to take me? And then what does that full day look like? And does it look like too many hours, right? Five hours and 30 minutes is way too long for a Sunday. I'm not going to work that many hours on a Sunday. Luckily, this is just fake. All these things are not actually going to take as long as they say in here. And on a normal day, I actually don't even bother going in to fix those estimates because Sansama has trained me so well to properly assess my day and right size my day. And this has been a huge mental shift that I've made. And it's a huge reason why I love this tool because it keeps me focused on just what's right in front of me. Like, of course I have tons of other things that I want to do. My note, I have a project tracker in Notion that has tons of different things I need to do for my subscriptions, ideas for my newsletter, events, trainings I want to run, all kinds of stuff. Like I am always overflowing with ideas. I'm sure you can relate. And what I love about this tool is that when I come in here, it just gives me this sense of ease. That like actually today, I don't need to do that much. Like I can just bite off a chunk of today and I can hide the rest. So I love that the project stuff, the content calendar is over in Notion. I don't have to look at the entire month stuff that I have to deliver. I can just look at today or this week. It just makes it easier for me to manage my day and not get overwhelmed. I actually really like looking at this view. This is the view that I tend to have up during my workday, but you can also just click on today or you can even do focus, which will just take you into each task. And then you can stick on that task until you've actually completed that task and then you can move on. And you can see it also has a Pomodoro timer in here for you. So if you really like that method, you can use it with Sansama. At the end of the day, you have this daily shutdown where you do a little day in review and you can move tasks around. So you can decide, oh yeah, I actually did do those things or I don't wanna do those things or here's what needs to go on to tomorrow. And then Sansama will actually just shift everything you didn't get done to the next day. Now they also have this feature where stuff can sort of just like, dis if you just like ignore it forever, it'll just disappear. That is a setting that you can set up in Sansama. It's called the auto archive and it lives over here in the sidebar. And if you are just like consistently not, not doing a task, it will just take, it'll just take it away. It'll just be like, obviously this task isn't that important. I don't use this because I don't want things to disappear on me, but I probably should use this. You can also drag tasks onto your calendar. If you are a time boxer or time blocker, you can do that. You can say, okay, I'm actually going to do this at 1 p.m. and it'll take up the amount of space that you estimated that task at. I don't like to do that. I don't want tasks on my calendar, so I don't generally do that. But if that's 
in your behavior. If you're a time blocker, you might really like that feature. And um, since I don't, I'm gonna delete it off the calendar. Sansama also has this really useful tag system, which I like, it sort of gives me at a glance my different streams of work. And they'll try to recognize what channel or tag it goes into, and then you can switch it if they weren't correct. You can find that in the settings and you can set a high level context. So for me, work, I have all my different work projects and then personal. What's nice about this is that then you can filter by these tags. You can see, okay, what am I gonna do for this project or this part of my life? There's a whole ritual aspect to Sansama that I don't use enough, but they'll prompt you to plan your day in the beginning of the day and they'll prompt you to shut down your day at the end of the day. And they started doing this thing called highlight where they'll pull in some of the things that you've done and they'll invite you to like capture a little journal about your day. I think this is a very cool feature. I just do this journaling elsewhere, but it's really nice to have some of this automated for you. And I think about whether or not I should move it into this app. We'll see, I'll keep you posted. I just wanna mention that they have a mobile app and a desktop app. Normally I could care less about apps. As a former app designer, I think apps are overrated, but this is an app that I have on both my computer and my phone because I am in Sansama all day, every day. And if I'm out running around and I remember that I need to do something or I wanna change my schedule around, I have it on my phone. Like this is one of the apps that I would be really sad if it went away. It's so thoughtful, it's so beautiful. Like it makes my day better, I just feel at peace when I look at Sansama and how my day is structured. And there's something about the way that it just separates all of the noise that I have to deal with into like just this like focused lane. If you run a paid newsletter business, if you run a content-based business, even if you run a service-based business, I think you should check it out. See if it fits your lifestyle, see if it fits your workflow. Take it for a spin, try out these integrations, see what you think and let me know. I feel like it's pretty hard to adopt systems as a solo practitioner. Like it really is just me. I don't have an assistant. I don't really have a team. Sometimes I work with other people. We don't have a unified system. And so having a to-do list that can plug into other systems when I am working with someone else, but isn't like overbearing the way that ClickUp and Asana are, it's really changed my work day. It's made it so that I can focus on what I need to do. It helps me break down these huge projects into smaller tasks that I can actually execute. And it gives me this sense of calm and ease that I am right-sizing my day. So if you liked what I show you in this video, you should try out Sansama. There's a link in this video and it'll give you some credits if you decide to upgrade and stick around with them. And let me know if you like this video. I don't do a lot of videos about workflows, but if you like this, if you think this would be interesting, I can show you more about how I work in my business. Particularly, I'm really into automations right now. My Zapier is out of control. So I'd be happy to show more of that. All right, that's all I got for you today. Don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter, Revenue Rule Breaker, and I'll see you on the internet.